Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to first place, Shen Salvador, where we have pieced out France. We have wonderful, wonderful score. Look at this. We are, oh my God, we are 1,800 points ahead of France. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. And we're about to go to war with Ming. We're going to knock him down a notch. I can't wait, man. I can't fucking wait. What sucks is this is the last episode of the day for me. I'm recording like, I don't know, 10 episodes today or something, maybe 12. And I'm going to forget exactly what's going on. When I come back to record the next series, I mean, the next set of episodes after this one, I'm going to be so lost. Be like, why am I at war with Ming? What's going on? I have to remind myself that A, Ming is westernizing. B, we're four techs or three techs ahead of him or something like that. And this is the absolute perfect time to kick his ass. And I got to remind myself that the provinces we want are in the Canton trade node. In fact, it pr probably I only want this one province. Because it's just such an important province. 27 developments, important center of trade, and estuary. Just take that one province. That's all we need. Because I want to have a short truce timer with Ming. I want to be able to go back to war with him as soon as possible. All right. Finish the colony. Keep on going. Kazan declared war on Russia. Yeah. Ah, poor Russia. We'll keep checking in on Russia. And I need, I need to keep checking in on the Ottomans rebels too. But it looks like he's already cleared them up. Okay. He had a spat of rebels. There's still one left. But he had like six different rebellions at once. And I guess he put them all down. All right. Where's my where's my army? Bring him over. All right. January 1st, we're coming back from Castile. And we're going to declare war on Korea. Now let's check out the troops we're going to be fighting. Ming has 64,000 troops. They are tech 15, I believe. Or did he just tech up? Okay, tech 15. We are tech 18. So we're three techs ahead of Ming. We could even tech up very soon here. Uh, maybe in a couple years. Yeah, we could tech up in a couple years. Korea is tech 14. He's even worse tech than Ming. Ming has 64,000 and Korea has... Uh, wow, Korea's got 23. That's more than I expected. But I think we can still hang on. I think we can do it. Because we're going to have, what, 100,000 troops here? Yeah, when this army finishes, we'll have 100,000 troops here. Something like that. We're finishing up the Philippines trade node, which is yeah pretty much 100% out of our control. The first merchant we're getting from the trade idea group, which should be relatively soon, is going to go right here to the Philippines to push some of this Asian trade back to the new world. I really, really wish you could take... Like, I would have colonized Australia a long time ago if you could push north to the Philippines, but you can't. Australia only goes to the Moluccas, and the Moluccas only goes to Malacca. So there's no way you can get the trade up here to the Philippines. It's just none. Very disappointing, but it's just the way it is. All right, January is here. Come on back from Castile. Castile's our vassal. <laughs> oh, man, if you, if, you, if you missed a few episodes, just go back and check and see how we fucking raped France. It was, it was just rape. There was, there was nothing... There was nothing enjoyable for either side about that. It was just an act of an act of aggression. We get the center of trade here in Hochelega. Now, once we have the center of trade Hochelega, I'm going to move my trade capital up here to the Canadian. What's it called? The Gulf of St. Lawrence trade node. And we're going to send our trade fleet up there to Gulf of St. Lawrence as well, because we want to collect up there because we can push everything everything from uh, Chesapeake Bay up there, but we're going to need more merchants to make that work. we got to be able to push it, you know, every single point or else Europe's just going to steal all of our trade. All right, we're back and here's our army. Let's do this shit. Let's do this. <laughs> Korea's like, we be allies? And I can't cobbler. I wish I could cobbler drink Ming, but I can't. All right, let's do it. So good that we had that CB. All right. Yep, I can't walk in here. So I'm going to I'm going to have to recruit a conquistador just to explore into my own vassal. Isn't that stupid? That's what I got to do. And you can follow behind him. Okay, sieging up a fort over here in Duren. You know, perhaps what we should do is Get on the boat and go to Miyugasan. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just undock into Miyugasan. Oh, not you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, like that. Perfect. It'd be really nice if you could vassalize someone. Like, we vassalized Manchu peacefully. It'd be nice if it would just suddenly show you his map, but it doesn't. So we actually have to explore this shit. Hopefully no one comes and attacks us while we're unloading these troops. They shouldn't, but we'll see. Don't forget to colonize New Zealand for the mission. Ah, good point. All right, let's grab you out of Hochelega and let's go to New Zealand. Thank you, I forgot about that mission. Me? Forget a mission? No way. Never before has that happened. All right, good. We can dock up again. Tondo's done. Good, good. And that gives us another colonist. Good. So that's all of the Philippines done then. Back to 2,000 ducats. Nice. I wonder where Ming's armies are. Okay, I saw a Korean army in the fog there. I don't know how many troops he has, though. Okay, Korea has arrived here. So I wonder where they are. Mountains, woods. I think I'm okay with standing in the mountains and the woods. Let's sort of hold this line and see if we see anyone coming to Manchu's capital. If they do, we can just attack them there. Free diplomat, huh? Hmm. All right, why don't we fabricate a Majapa heat so I can demand a province from him and start beating him up? We don't have to do that, but I think it's a decent, decent way to play it. Fabricate on Damak, demand that from him, and then from there we can just go to war. Good place to land our troops. All right, there's Ming. It's a big navy, but no troops on that transport. Lose prestige. It's fine. Aha! Hi, Ming! Sup, douchebag? Colony done. Very nice. Oh, we can tech up. Um, it's a little early. I should probably spend this on development instead of teching up. All right, let's colonize a lot of this juicy stuff down here. No, no, we don't need to. This is useless to us. Let's instead colonize our home base. Let's colonize this shit, which is going to give us way more benefit. No, not there. Here. It's going to give us way more benefit than uh, anywhere else, really. Because it's our home province, our home region. What's up, Ming? Let's see if we can't squish his army here. He's three techs behind. Got to roll well. Oh, yeah, that felt good. All right, let's 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 get into the fog of war here. Let's see what we got. What? Excuse me? There we go. That was weird. Trying to tell me to use an automatic transport to go there? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What is this? The Merchant Guild is upset. Why are you upset, Merchant Guild? This is only game. Why do you have to be mad? All right, I'll give you... you I already gave you Boston and New York. What the fuck else do you want? Stupid merchant guild. Uh, here, you can have Delaware. There you go. He just wanted Delaware, that's all. That's all. Just wanted Delaware. Alright, you guys can go... I guess you can both go there, that's fine. I don't know what's there. Could be an army. Still building this stack up here, okay. That was such a good battle for us. Squish. 29,000 Ming soldiers dead. Feels good, man. Who's this over here? This is some other nation. I don't know. I'm going to send the explorer north. It's absolute stupid that I have to explore my own vassal's territory. Especially in war. Because the way the fog of war works is when you're at war with a nation, if you're at war and they're an enemy nation then you can explore their fog of war without a conquistador. But if you're at war and you're in a friendly nation's territory, you cannot explore your friendly nation's fog of war without an explorer. Why not? Why can you explore enemy lands fog of war, but not friendly lands fog of war? I don't get it. 
It don't make no sense. Mm-mm. Is this army done? No, still building. Okay. Okay, so that's all the exploration we need to do up there. Uh, we could potentially walk a little more to see the border, but I think we can do that later. We've already hired the guy. He's not going to die anytime soon. Uh, let's do some more exploring to the south. Okay, max relations with the Turks. Hey, we got this, the Fort of Durendafal. Nice. Max relations with the Turks. Let's see. How do the Turks feel about us? Negative or plus eight. That is not terrible. We do have enemy of enemy and I've never rivaled him. Yeah, I'm really hoping he will see the light and... Oh, wow. Tunis has fallen apart. I think he's westernizing. I'm really hoping he'll see the light and he'll switch to our, switch to our side, our team. But I don't know. It's all about wishes right now, ain't it? I do have room for one more alliance. so I would love it to be the Ottomans. I would love the Ottomans. All right, what are we going to do with this diplomat then? I don't even know. We're really getting up there on admin and military points. I think we're just going to spend it all on development, though. Nope. Oh, hello, that was unexpected. He's got a 6-2 general. This is going to be painful here. Actually, we're winning easily. Wow. Holy shit. Nope, oh, he even reinforced it, and it just doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Okay, merchant time. Merchant. Ma, 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 merchant. How much manpower do you have, Ming? Uh, 22,000. All right, so we're, we're 70,000 manpower ahead of him, and that is a large number. All right, I'm going to swap you back and put the conquistador in here so we can explore a little bit. I wonder where he's retreating to every time. It could be the capital. Capital's down here in Beijing. That, that could be where he's retreating to, but it's hard to guess. This guy ready yet? No, still recruiting. How many more are going? Just one more cannon after this? All right. I would love to get him into the fight, but we're still recruiting more troops. Election. Oh, what's this? Gain mercantilism or don't gain mercantilism? Wow, what a, what a stupid, stupid fucking offer here. Do you want 33 Diplo or 2.5 Mercantilism? Oh my goodness. What a what a stupid offer. Okay, what do we got? 424? I gotta go with the 424. Okay. Is he a good general? Uh no. No, no, he's not a good general. No, he's not. I'll take Discipline Guy because Discipline Guy can help me here. Oh, we've actually made it into Ming territory. Nice. Oh, we converted Potosi. That is not where Potosi is. There's Potosi. Now Potosi. Ah, the gold. Yes. We are going to develop the shit out of Potosi, but the development we need to do is diplomatic. Oh my goodness. Careful there, kitty cat. The development we need is diplomatic, and I don't really need... I can't really afford to waste my diplo points right now, so we need to uh, hold off on that, unfortunately. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw some monarch points in development. Provinces that have... Provinces that have um, universities. Yeah. Yeah. You know what we need in the capital? We need a plantation. In fact, all these provinces need plantations. If, if we're developing this land, we need plantations here for sure. Even if they only have cotton. Well, cotton's not bad. All right, let's start developing. Let's get it up to 10 and 10. Four hundred, four hundred. I might be able to get another ten, maybe. There we go. All right, excellent. 
So now all of the provinces here that are farmlands that get the nice big discount on development, they've all been developed a little bit. Good. Starting to make like a little rich part of our, our town, rich part of our nation. All right, you done? No, nope, one more. Okay. You have a tornado warning? Oh, that's no fun. All right, we finished our mission to colonize Waitaha. Uh, let's take another policy. Settler chance? Let me arrange global settlers. I don't think I want to take a diplo policy right now because we're spending diplo points on ideas. What's this? The merchants are upset. All right. And we have an extra merchant. That's right, the extra merchant. To the Philippines we go. There's only three, there's only five ducats here, but we're gonna send everything we can to uh, Panama. Cause right now we're spending, we're sending everything to the Moluccas and that's just silly. We should definitely be sending everything to Panama. All right, this is the war goal right here. So this should give us ticking war score. Very nice. You done up here yet? No, not yet. Damn it. Hurry up. All right, let's fix the merchants. Why are they upset? What's wrong, Merchant Guild? What's wrong, pretty boy? Hmm. I can't give him the center trade because the colony's not done, but I will when it's done. I guess for now, I'll just give him some more coastal provinces. Yeah, let him have the coast. Oh, I should give him the Caribbean as well. I'll give him the Caribbean later. What missions are out there? Rival of Rival, Aragon. I think we can do that. Aragon doesn't hate us that much, do they? Oh shit, the interface is fucking up. Oh no. Hang in there, interface. Can we even do this? 70 aggressive expansion. No, we can't do this. All right, cancel the mission. It was worth a shot. Yeah, the interface is starting to die. How's your revolt risk, Ming? Wow. How is that making any sense? Four, five, six point, six point one two versus negative five. So he has positive six point one two revolt risk and then negative five revolt risk. Then how is the overall revolt risk negative? Does that make any sense? Is my math that bad or is this or is this not showing us all the data? There's no way this is correct. There's no way. That should be positive 1.12 revolt risk. Okay, we arrived at the Philippines. Good. Our merchant has arrived and we're now good. We're sending trade to Panama. It's only four ducats, but that will grow. We're going to develop some of this land and we're going to conquer... Well, we're going to try to conquer the Canton region, which we can push to the Philippines. No guarantees, though. We'll do our best. Hey, he's done. All right. Sikchukawatsal uh, Osolatsal. Come on down, dude. Yeah, Ming's down to 10,000 manpower. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, good. I can still hit escape. The close button is gone, but I can hit escape. That's fine. That's a little weird. No, you cannot close this window anymore. Oh, but I wanna. Oh, do I have a siege pip guy? I do. Siege pip guy. Do you have a siege pip? No. Okay. Siege pip guy, go over here. Non siege pip guy, come over here. Oh, hello. Hello, Ming.
Um, do I really care about that fort? Not really. I should really try to kill Ming's army here. I think he's going to Igoon. Oh, he's going to 2-1. He's going to fight me in 2-1? Oh, okay. No, he changed his mind. Interesting. All right, let's party. What are you doing, Ming? He's being sneaky. I don't like it when he's being sneaky. This is a mountain province. I don't want to attack into the mountains. Hmm. I'd rather not attack into the mountains, to be honest. All right, I'm going to go south. We'll see where he goes. I'll leave uh, 20k here. Just chill. He's going south. Okay, good. Um, I think I can catch him there. Maybe? No, because it's fucking fog of war. God damn it. I can't catch fog of war. Let's try going this way. Nicaragua is done. That's not Nicaragua. Come on. Stop showing me this. That's not Nicaragua. That's Nicaragua. See? No, no, Nicaragua is North Pole. All is North Pole. Whoa, 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 whoa. Unexpected battle. 6 2. I'm going to roll the general here. Come on, something good. All right, better than nothing. Ow. I mean, we're winning, but ow. <laughs> Major ow. All right, good try, Ming. Good try. You caught me off guard. But it didn't work. That really fucking hurt. <laughs> that was painful as hell. All right, now that we have a little bit more vision, we can avoid some of the fog of war. The fog of war is what's killing us here. It's just killing us here because we're unable to really press forward. We have to be very cautious or else we could have another bad battle. I mean, that battle was fine. It worked out in our favor. But another thing like that could just ruin our manpower. What's his man? Oh, he's got none. He's got no manpower. All right, no button. He's got no manpower and I've got no button. So I guess it's even footing, huh? Our explorer died. No, not our explorer. Maybe what I should do is go beat up. Just go beat up Korea first. Eh, I don't know. We're in the mountains right now. Yeah, all of my all of my soldiers are in mountains right now. I think I'm okay just chilling here for a while. Because if they want to attack in the mountains, I'm okay with that. Last time they attacked us in Jirin, which is flat. That's a bad place to get attacked. These are mountains, mountains, mountains. This would be much better. All right, he's coming back. He may be going for Iman over there, which would be good because it's mountains. Oh, hi, Phobos. What's up, kitty cat? Meow. All right, what did I miss? What's up? Uh, crater fleets. It's a pretty shitty mission. I'll cancel it. I do want to increase our fleet size at some point. Oh, he's standing in the flatlands. I cannot pass that up, except he's going to escape. I wonder if I can catch him. I think I can catch him. Give it a shot. Okay, Iman is done. Very nice. I should catch him here. Yes, we caught him. Okay. So, shift merge. Yeah, shift merge. Gross. Okay. Okay. Swip, swip, swap, swap in a better general here because this guy sucks. 2 4. You can be my explorer right now. Come on, kick some ass. No river crossing or anything? Good. Okay, another good battle for us. Yeah, that was much better than the last one. Okay, Mr. Explorer Man, go explore some land, please. And we will casually. Oh, hello. Growth of the administration. Oh, shit. More of the interface is going away. What is this? 
Nobility gains loyalty. Merchants lose loyalty. Nobility gains influence. That's fine. What else? Merchants gain... I can't let the merchants have influence. And I can't let the clergy... Have, okay, so we have to go with this one, which sucks. But all right. Yeah, can we demand support? When can we demand support? This year, March. Oh, good. March, we can demand support, which is nice. Uh, the Merchant Guild needs... They need some more loyalty. How can I give them some loyalty? I can't. There's nothing I can do to give them loyalty. Damn. Okay. Hi, Ming. I don't know why you attacked me there, but you're dead. <laughs> yeah, that was a goofy attack by Ming. All right, you are going to split off. You're going to come south. You're going to go this way. Hmm, Korea's down here in the grasslands. I should probably attack that, but my armies are just so battered right now. All right, that's fine. We'll attack him there. Should be a squish. His morale is so low. No, not a squish. Wow. Wow, okay. Oh, it showed there was going to be a battle, and there was no battle. Gosh darn it. Don't lie to me, game. Oh, hello. That's mountains. I don't want mountains. Oh, well, we caught him at least. Didn't squish him, though. Almost. Okay, we'll see that down. Where are we going here? You going to come in and attack me, or what? You should probably attack me. Come on. No? Election! Ooh, 341. I gotta go with the 341. But I need to take a look and see how the oranges and the status are doing. We're okay. Okay, 341. Take that. Go ahead and pick the um, discipline guy. Swap him into the army. He's a shit general, of course. And lose some prestige. He's chilling in the woods. I could attack him, but I think it'd be better if we fought him here in Yukon. So I would love it if he would come to Yukon. Let's go siege a fort. That should be a, squ a squish. Yep. All right, I guess we're just going to attack him here. Because he ain't fucking moving. Sup, douchebag? Yeah, good battle for us. We're fighting the army separately. Like, Korea's got 32,000k or whatever, but we're fighting him separately from Ming, which is very important. Oh, yeah, that felt good. That felt good. All right, spread out a little bit. But we have to call this an episode here. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. The war with Ming is going fairly well. Check his revolt risk here. Negative three. So even though, even though he's westernizing, he's westernizing even though he's westernizing and he has five revolt risk for more exhaustion he still has negative 3.8 revolt risk can you believe that wow okay here's better here he has zero revolt risk okay so if we drive up his war exhaustion we might be able to get him to spawn rebels maybe 
Yeah, I know I had an option to give them influence, but I can't give them... He's talking about the Merchant Guild. I can't give them influence because they already have too much influence. What I need is to give them loyalty, and there's no button I can click to give them loyalty. I need their loyalty. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. I'm sure France is going to recover, right? You're going to recover, right, France? We're going to have to kill France again. Someday.